Primrose Jasmine. Okay. And those get... Yeah, she was showing me pictures of those. That'll be great. And this is called the Eve's Necklace. It's a member of the Mountain Laurel family. Okay. And uh, it puts off a pink cluster. Okay. Like the purples on right. the Mountain Laurel. It's called a Golden Thyralis. It's evergreen. And it'll get six to eight feet tall. Wow. And it blooms throughout the year. Mm -hmm. You know the Texas sage? Yes. And this is a Ooh, pretty. Uh, Mexican bush sage. Okay. And it's pretty close to evergreen. And mine that I've had a couple of years is about this one. And they, they do best if you cut them back. Mm -hmm. But you'll see new growth coming out, and then cut it back, and it'll fill back up. This is a yopon holly, small tree. Can, we'll just trim these oaks once it starts filling out. Right. But it gets it's evergreen. Mm -hmm. It's fifteen to twenty feet. And then these are the same. Right. right. And this is a pyracantha. Oh, You've yeah. seen these where My they put out the them. orange berries. Yeah. So right. that's another thing. We've got uh, butterfly, hummingbird, and uh, bird attracted. Awesome. And this is an Esperanza. Mm -hmm. Get big to block that corner. Yes. No mice. And I, I chose these two crepe myrtles. Their blooms are similar, but their foliage is different. Okay. And uh, you can see the bloom. It's like real bright red. Right. Oh, yeah. It'll be real pretty once they get established. But their maximum height is 15, so you're not going to have any problem with mm -hmm. it. With the wire. And then we've got an Esperanza here. Oh, good. Another one to get big and bushy. And then there's another Yopon holly. Oh, yeah, evergreen. sweet. Jasmine, evergreen. This is a Vitex. They do. Uh, we were looking at the pictures of those. Uh, Pretty. They their foliage in the winter, but they come right back in the spring and stay full and blooms all summer. Beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. And I just wanted to put some color. Yeah. The blue salvias, they'll attract the, the hummingbirds and the Awesome. Butterflies. I've been getting, I've noticed I got a couple hummingbirds at my house right now. It was funny. We were working the other day and there was this butterfly trying to get to the blooms <laughs> and he couldn't get through the cage and he was like bouncing <laughs> on it. And I was like, look, we already got butterflies. But we, it's great. We got to figure it out. This is called a sweet almond verbena uh -huh. in the backdrop. Right. and uh, they have a little white flower. Okay. And they have a fragrance. So I put these uh, blue salvias in. And this is your bur oak. Oh yeah, the bur oak. Oh, it's going to get big and cover up that ugly tower. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, Japanese Aurelia? evergreen and they get real big and it's just got a real pretty foliage it doesn't bloom anything and then this is a sweet viburnum same thing evergreen big massive awesome. shrub awesome and i wanted in this area to have some things inwards that were deciduous with pretty bloom right and then having your Good evergreens back. right so once your evergreens fill out you'll have the different um, so this is a red bud It'll look too good right now, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's getting that time of year where they're going to start dropping their leaves. Uh -huh. And also being container plants, they right. don't do as oh, well shot. until they're actually in the ground and then they can start spreading their roots. Right. And this is a, a Monterey oak, evergreen, yeah. big. Cassia senna. Mm. It can either be trimmed to be a single mm. or let it be a shrub. We'll let it be a shrub. Right. It blooms throughout the year, and this is a good location. It likes the hot sun, so it'll it'll probably bloom pretty frequently. And this is a, uh, a call it Savannah holly. Yeah. Evergreen. Its berries are supposed to be spectacular, awesome. which it does. 
That'd be great. Get some birds eating some berries. What do we got here? Some kind of little bean? This is a Pride of Barbados. Oh, we saw those pictures of those. Oh, those are beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous flowers. Beautiful, yeah. Here's another Monterey oak. All right. Got your primrose jasmine. All right, yes. And this is a desert willow. It's, mm -hmm. um, it'll get big and full right. mm -hmm. and covered with pink blooms. We saw awesome. that. And this is a cherry laurel. Yeah, that's the one I got a picture 15 to 20 of early. Feet. Uh, Monterey oak. Monterey oak. Yeah. So those two are Monterey oak. Cherry laurel, evergreen. Awesome. That'd be big. huge. And then this is a bald cypress. Yeah. And ready, increase the watering on this one because they they Ooh, do like a lot of water. Yeah. But you're close to the river and yeah. it's a prime position. And I had to get you a mountain laurel. <laughs> They're slow growing, but once right. it does take off, you'll 